the D90 BTA laser transmitter with targets for belt and chain alignment. You simply attach the laser transmitter to one sheave and the targets to the other. A laser beam is transmitted that is parallel to the sheave it is mounted on. It is projected to the targets which are mounted on the other sheave. When the beam hits the appropriate mark on the targets in both the horizontal and vertical planes, your sheaves are in alignment. The D90 laser transmitter comprises of on and off buttons, battery compartment, laser beam aperture, target holding slots, magnetic mounting pads, and a safety information label. The targets comprises of an adjustable target area and a magnetic base. Mounting the units. Attach the laser transmitter on the stationary machine. Using the magnetic pads, place it onto the side of the sheath. Place the targets on the movable machine. You choose which is the movable machine, but in most cases it will be the motor. To measure the vertical plane, position the targets at 12 and 6 o'clock. For the horizontal plane, Move the targets to the 3 and 9 position. The slot in the target is where you want the beam to hit. When it does, it will appear to drop into the slot. For example, this photo shows two targets in the horizontal position. You can see that the beam is out of the slot in the 3 o'clock position. However, you can also see that the beam is in the slot in the 9 o'clock position. The procedure is simple. Start with the vertical plane and correct the angle by shimming the motor. Do not be concerned if at first the beam is out of the slot, just make sure that it is hitting both targets in the same position. Now move the targets to the 3 and 9 position and view the horizontal plane. Adjust the toe in or toe out again until the beam hits the target at the same position. In other words, remove the angular misalignment. Then slide the sheave forward or back in order to correct the parallel offset. The following slides will show two basic video clips that should give you a good idea of the whole procedure. We will be using a simple demonstration stand that is designed for easy adjustment in order to show you the procedure. As you can see, we mount the laser transmitter to the machine that will be stationary. The targets are then placed onto the movable side. Try and control the mounting of the transmitter rather than letting it snap onto the sheath. We begin by looking at the vertical plane. We can see that we have to correct the angle by adjusting the sheath forwards. What's important is that the beam hits both targets in the same pos position. Only the angular misalignment is being adjusted at this time. Next, we move to the 9 and 3 positions. Here the angle is ok, however, to be precise we will trim it. Now we will correct the offset by sliding the sheave on the shaft. Let's look again at the 12 and 6 positions. Although this is not necessary, some additional targets can be used to let you see all the four positions. As you can see here, the beam is in the slot of each target meaning we have a very good alignment. 